NFL draft will get underway a week from tonight with the first round. Browns won't be a part of that. Uh, Friday, second round and third round will uh, take place. And in the third round, the Browns will make their first pick. Um, take a look at the grades for the offseason. This is from the Bleacher Report. They graded all of the NFL teams offseason before the draft. For the Browns, they give them an A. Cleveland Browns have largely flown under the radar, but they've had a sneaky great offseason. Let's welcome in Quincy Carrier, Untitled Unfiltered Browns coverage. Quincy, you kind of want to be under the radar in free agency because there aren't usually a lot of big-name free agents that pan out. Well, I mean, it, you always want to be, like, somewhere in the middle there. You want to get some names that are going to help you, some some guys that have done some things in the NFL. But you don't want to be the desperate team. And I think that's what you want, you're alluding to is you don't want to be the team – that paid Allen Robinson $20 million in 2020. <laughs> you don't want to be the team that paid uh, uh, Kenny Galladay like $25 million, right? Like that's who you don't want to be. But you're okay with going after names as long as you can get them at the right price. And as much criticism as people can throw out about Andrew Barry, that's the one thing I give him massive credit for. We've not really overpaid anybody um, when you look at what the market was offering and what their contract is. You can uh, may maybe make the argument for Deshaun Watson, but I think exceptions get made for quarterbacks for obvious reasons. But you look at all the deals out there, even the ones that didn't pan out, those are reasonable deals um, considering what the market was getting before it. And I think that's one of the strengths there if you're the Cleveland Browns because, again, Going after the names, that's cool, but you don't want to overpay because that's what ends up biting you in the butt. Well, and, and you know, the Deshaun Watson deal, it's going to end up by next year when you get Burrow and Herbert. It's going to be middle of the of, of the pack. It's going to be probably somewhere between 7 to 10 is in terms of average value per year. It's all, Jalen Hurts is getting more already, and, and – it's going to end up being in the 7 to, to 12 range. Yeah, and it's like if you don't have Deshaun Watson on the roster, it don't matter who you <laughs> sign in free agency, right? Like, that's the only reason people care who the Browns have in free agency is because Deshaun Watson's on the roster. If we was out here running Jacoby River setback, we could have signed anybody. Nobody would have cared. So, like, the, it's this paradox we fall into because people are like, oh, yeah, the Browns, they spent all this money. The only reason you care about what the Browns are doing because we have Deshaun Watson. And, yeah, we had to pay to get him. But guess what? Quarterbacks are expensive. Yes. Not, not new news. And, and and they are not. Price for quarterbacks isn't going down. It's only going up. 